the paper on the ground and dump a little bit of powder in the pan. He shuts the pan, flips the musket around, and pours the rest of the powder, the paper, and the ball. They all go into the barrel. Then he will take that, ram the powder and ball down, and you want to ram it tight so the ball fits tight against the uh, powder. Then he will return his rammer. Now, what does he have? He has some powder in the pan. He's got a hole in the barrel. He's got powder and the ball in the barrel. He's got a very hard rock. When this rock flies, the flint flies and hits the steel. Tiny little pieces of steel, red hot, will be scraped off here and fall into the pan. That's the spark that you see. Of course, the spark will set off the powder. And it will work like this. Just take a look here, just to see how fast it happens that the, uh, uh, that the flint would hit the steel very, very quickly. Bounces over at the same time. Those sparks that fall into here, that ignites the charge. The flame goes through the hole, ignites the main charge, and the bullet goes up. By the time you pull the trigger, is it pretty much instantaneous? Or is there a it's pretty much instantaneous if the weather is dry. When you fired several times, gunk builds up, uh, and black powder residue is, is, is pretty strong. And uh, the, the black powder is very hot to It's pretty hot like that. So the wetter and the more humid it is, the more chances you're going to have of a misfire or something, and the, and the slower that the delay might be.